And we're back now with new details about the investigation into Secretary of State Mike Pompeo and the firing of the State Department's watchdog. Top Republicans are asking for an explanation. ABC's Alex Perche reports. This morning, President Trump is defending the firing of State Department Inspector General Steve Linick, who was investigating Secretary of State Mike Pompeo. I was uh, happy to do it. Mike uh, requested that I do it. According to Congressman Elliot Engel, head of the House Foreign Affairs Committee, Linick was investigating Pompeo's declaration of an emergency last May to sell arms to Saudi Arabia, bypassing Congress. Linick was also investigating Pompeo's use of a staffer to run personal errands like dog walking and picking up dry cleaning. Maybe he's negotiating with Kim Jong-un, okay, about nuclear weapons so that he'd say, please, could you walk my dog? You mind walking my dog? And you know what? I'd rather have him on the phone with some world leader than have him wash dishes because maybe his wife isn't there. Pompeo tells the Washington Post he was unaware of the investigation, saying it was not possible that this decision was based on any effort to retaliate because I simply don't know. I'm not brief on these investigations. Pompeo said he fired Lennox because he wasn't happy with his performance. Meanwhile, this morning, in a surprise move, Attorney General William Barr appears to be breaking ranks with President Trump when it comes to investigating and prosecuting former President Barack Obama and former Vice President Joe Biden. And as long as I'm Attorney General, the criminal justice system will not be used for uh, partisan political ends. The president has suggested, without evidence, that Obama and Biden broke the law during the Russia investigation. Obamagate. It's been going on for a long time. Barr now declaring he does not see any evidence to justify a criminal investigation. The president saying he's surprised by Barr's decision. I think it's just a continuation of a double standard. Barr didn't completely reject Trump's claim, but said not every abuse of power, no matter how outrageous, is a federal crime. Kenneth and Mona. All right, Alex Perche there. Thank you. <laughs> Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.